Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. I have no idea why so many of you wanted this to be a series, but since our top 10 worst cards ever videos did so well, we, we basically have to do this now. Thanks for the peer pressure. I hope you enjoy this new series, I, I guess. In each of these videos, we're going to spotlight three absolutely awful cards, some of the worst cards you've probably never heard of. I do realize that this is punishment for you, but it's punishment for me, so we're just going to have to get through it together. Without further ado, let's talk about some trash. The first card we're going to talk about today is Razor Boomerang, 3 mana for an artifact equipment with an equip cost of 2. Equipped creature has, tap it, unattach Razor Boomerang, Razor Boomerang deals 1 damage to target creature or player, return Razor Boomerang to its owner's hand. Wait, <laughs> what? Okay. So you pay 3 to play it, 2 to equip it, then to deal 1 damage to target creature or player you have to tap the creature, unattach the Razor Boomerang, and return it to its owner's hand? By the time you play it and use this card twice, I could have taken a really long nap. Worst yet, it's uncommon. Who, who designed this? Now, don't get me wrong, it's a boomerang, so the fact that it comes back is alright, you know, like immersion, but it basically tickles the opponent. What is it, a boomerang made of, like, cotton swabs? Does Sivir's boomerang blade look like a cotton swab? No. You know what? I'm okay with this being an uncommon. It means you get less of them. Razor Boomerang, you disappoint me, and Magic, and World Wake, and Sokka from Avatar. Just get out. <laughs> Next up on our pain train to crap town is Sabrazan Raider. Three mana for a one-two Merfolk. When it becomes blocked, return it to its owner's hand. Again. Another self-unsummon effect. Does anyone understand how bad the value is here? These effects against you are only good when you get something decent out of it. You know what you get this time? Nothing. You get nothing. Oh look, the raider avoided dying in combat. What a victory, right? I feel like I'm gonna get a nosebleed. The flavor text says, some quick dagger work and then back to the seas. How is one damage dagger work? Also, if he's blocked, no dagger work at all. What a coward. Sure, he's a merfolk, and that race has plenty of powerful creatures, but as far as this raider goes, he might as well be in that fish tank from Finding Nemo. Don't reach at me with your claws. Probably made of marshmallows or something equally soft slash delicious. Might make for some good sushi, though. Mm. Our last, I guess you could call it, card of the day is Wood Elemental. Four mana for a star, star elemental. I'll read the eroded text. As Wood Elemental enters the battlefield, sacrifice any number of untapped forests. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of forests sacrificed as it entered the battlefield. <sighs> are you kidding me? You have to sacrifice forests. Not only do you have to do that, but they have to be untapped. You can't even use them beforehand. So you need at least five sources of mana to play this thing. Four to play it, and one forest to sacrifice to it so it doesn't die. In what world is this useful? Honestly, name me a deck or a format where this has any chance of seeing anything besides vomit when it hits the battlefield. I can't even right now. Those soldiers in the pitcher got it. Just spear the crap out of that guy. Just, just do it. Spear him. I already hate this series. I hate it. These cards are actually the worst. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Just let me know in the comments which cards you think are absolutely terrible. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Woo, yeah, awesome. Yeah. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable magic, the gathering information you could ever need. This is the Mana Source. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.